everyone, it's bridal season and today we're gonna do kind of bronzy, rosy complexion with a burnished bronzy eye and a stain on the lip. Okay, bridal season, here we come. This is Tanya. I've prepped Tanya's skin. I used actually today some Dr. Hoshka Rose Day Cream. It's the perfect texture for her skin. It's not gonna be too oily or too slippery, so I know very well how the foundation is going to, to work with the skincare. So now I'm going to even out her skin tone with Vital Skin Foundation. So I'm using one more as the concealer shade, you know, kind of under her eyes, around her nose, and then I'm going in with Vital Skin 3 around her perimeter of her face to really have her true skin tone come through so it doesn't look like a mask of makeup more that her skin just even better. I think it's it's nice to have some bronzy color. Mm -hmm. it, it like gives you some sunny like summer vibes a little bit. Yes. I think to look healthy on your wedding it's like it's nice. nice. Yeah. yeah. I think the best way to check your what shade you are is by swiping the, a little bit of the foundation on your forehead. And we also have our Clean Beauty Concierge. You can book an appointment and get a really good assessment and um, really good tips before your wedding day. So I'm gonna show you here. This is perfect. And I don't need foundation everywhere, but I'm thinking about things like, you know, if you're gonna get red in your face, just from nerves and things like that. If you have a little bit of coverage, you, it kind of balances that, you know? But you'll still feel like it's your skin. It's just that you're able to control what happens a little bit more. A better version of your skin, if, if that's possible, Tanya. So you basically kind of correct redness, imperfection, pigmentation, things like that, where you don't want it, and then you add color back in where you do want it. I think especially the boys are nervous on the wedding day. I think so. Yeah, they're like, ooh, should I do it? <laughs> <laughs> Where's my husband? <laughs> so our foundation is so amazing. You know, if you have sensitivities, it's really super gentle. There's no silicones, there's no PGs, there's no phthalates, and we've we focus on the skincare benefits. So now I'm gonna warm your skin up to give you a little bit of that bone mean, you know, kind of like you have a little bit of a sun kiss moment. You, and this is our Beauty Butter Bronzer and it's completely matte, which mm -hmm. is nice, so it doesn't look makeup-y. Mm -hmm. And I'm using the powder brush and I'm just going over your cheekbones. I'm gonna go over your eyelid, your forehead, anywhere you naturally would get a little bit of warmth like you've been on vacation before you get married. <laughs> also these kind of terracotta colors around your sort of greenish blue eyes really will make your eye color pop even more. Just so nice, so pretty. So now I'm gonna give you a little bit of contour using Face Trace and Biscuit. I'm using the Baby Blender brush so I can be really precise. Just under your cheekbone. It's always nice to have a little added definition on your wedding day. You can use it, you know, if you don't like contour, you can use it to give yourself some definition on your eyes, you know, your nose. It's a really super easy product, you know, to kind of just give yourself a little bit of like color in your socket. Yeah, it's very easy. So even though you tend to get a little bit of redness, I'm still gonna give you a cheek, but I'm gonna give you a subtle one. So I'm just adding a little bit of baby cheeks and petal, which is our five-year-old's name. <laughs> and the spot checking brush is so good because you can go back in and get anywhere quickly. If people get a little spot the day of, you know, the big day, it's really good to not just cover it with your concealer shade because that will bring more attention to it because usually it's a little lighter. Mm -hmm. So you kind of want to go over it with more of your true skin tone shade. So this color of your forehead is usually a better match for any spots. Okay, so for Tanya's brows, I'm using Stone, which is a cool blonde color. It's 
really nice to think about the brows as an area of the face that fr actually frames the face. So you want to give attention to your brows. Oh, I like you with a little bit of a bolder brow. It's nice. Ultimately, at the end of the day, I think as a bride, you want to feel like the best version of yourself. You don't want to look completely different, like the most dreamy version. If you want to really play up a feature, you know, like Tanya wants to play up her eyes, I, I really would recommend something in the sort of chocolatey, warmy tones to really terracotta, anything to play up your greenish, bluish eyes. So I'm going to use iPods in Leju and I can set it a little bit so it has a little more lasting power with the Beauty Butter Bronzer. Mm -hmm. So I'm starting with the eyeshadow one brush over your lid. So I'm gonna combine tabak. I'm bringing the chocolat up to about the socket. And underneath I have both tabak and chocolat. I, th I think this is a particularly beautiful idea for makeup just in a garden type of setting or outdoor type of setting. So I'm gonna give a tiny bit of uh, highlight with Nej, just a little bit. That's the eyeshadow too. You know, any makeup where you're running around and it's hot and it, you know, it needs a little bit of maintenance. Let's, let's be real. But you can always bring Say your two most important shades, say tabac and chocolat, you can have it in your bag with a little, you know, Q-tip or something like that. And if you feel like it's not as strong as you wanted it to be, you can always pop in a little more if it smudges. But if you do powder, if you powder on top a little bit, it will last longer. Just using a little bit of the bronzer I used before, just gently you can tap over and kind of, I'm gonna use some Vital Press Skin Care, and this is really cool because it's actually skin care that's been pressed. Mm -hmm. So it's doing something good for your skin. It takes away to where it's too oily, but it leaves this beautiful veil of kind of um, just velvety looking mm -hmm. skin. So this shade is called Pink Bubble. This is a must for your bag, especially when it's hot, you're outside, such a pretty finish. It's like, honestly, like a velvet. And it feels like velvet. I know. Oh, another trick is it's nice to apply your mascara after your powder. Mm -hmm. It's always good so you don't get any powder in your lashes. I would suggest you to use maybe a waterproof mascara mm -hmm. and honestly, I would use a brown. And I'm just doing the top lashes from the root and up. So now, do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna give you a little bit of a lip. Nice. Are you excited? I'm excited. So I'm gonna use the Lip Suede Palette in Le Rouge, and I'm gonna give you a bit of a stain, okay? Mm -hmm. And that's gonna last you, which is okay. nice, okay? I'm gonna actually mix these three. It's fuchsia, brick, and tomato. I'm kind of just going very lightly over your lips with all three shades and then I'm gonna maybe blot, and then I'm gonna emphasize the middle. I just really want her lips to feel super juicy and kissable, how about that? And this is super duper easy to maintain, so you can just have the palette in your bag and just give yourself a touch up whenever you feel like you need a little. Tanya has lots of really cute little beauty spots, so I'm gonna fill them in a little bit with my brown eyeliner. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you a little bit of squeaky clean liquid lip balm and pip squeak just right here in the middle of your lips just to give you that sort of juiciness. I love it, especially eyeshadows. I think it's like 100% my type of color Aww. for the eyes. Oh good, I'm so excited. I wanna go to your wedding. I wanna go there too. <laughs> Thank you for watching and you. we'll see you at the wedding.